What's up? My name is Yua Lee, and I'm the marketing assistant here at Kirkham Iron Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an email signature along with a automatic reply. I'm going to share my screen with you. And I just have Outlook open on Safari. You can use any browser you want. Teacher Yua here. So I realized I probably should have shown you guys how to pull up Office 365 and get to your Outlook on a web browser. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'll share my screen with you real fast. So we're just on Google.com and we're going to go ahead and search up Microsoft Office 365. All right. And the first link it pulls up is this and you want to go ahead and click that. Now you go to this sign in button or you can sign in up here, whatever you prefer. And I already have my account saved on here, but if you don't, um, you can just go ahead and use your email and log in. So I'll go ahead and log in. All right. And it pulls you to the Office 365. And over here on the left, you can see that the Outlook option is right here and you click that and that's how you pull up the Outlook page. Now let's get back to it. First thing is we want to go to the top right corner and click this icon right here. It'll bring you to your settings and it should bring you to the mail tab. It'll be highlighted blue like this on the left. And then you have all of these uh, tabs as well. And you can change anything, you know, make it your own, make it funky, make it fresh, fun, you know, but today we're going to focus on compose and reply. So after clicking that tab, it brings you to the email signature. And this is just a blank template. And now you can start creating your own. So we're going to create a mock-up. Uh, we'll say this is for Jane Doe. And it's for her company, The Baddest Burger Joint. So our first step is to name it, name the signature. So we're going to name it the baddest burger joint. And Jane wants it to say, thank you, Jane Doe, CEO of the baddest burger joint. And then you can add a phone number and a website. So her website's going to be www.badburger.com. And then what we're going to do now is highlight the website. And then we're going to go over here to this icon. And when you hover over it, it says insert link. Go ahead and click that. And you can directly link the website to your email signature. So that's www. Bad, nope. All right, and then we're gonna click okay. So now it's linked there for you. So it'll be easy for somebody to click on it and go to your website. And now you can add a headshot with a picture or make it bold, change your font, the color, anything like that. Um, so since this is a mock-up, we're going to keep it plain, keep it simple, and we're going to go ahead and click save. So now that you've created your email signature, you want to scroll down a little bit. And for the default settings, you want to change that to um, the one that you just created. So right here, it's already selected for you, but if it's not, click the drop down menu and go ahead and select the email signature that you just created. All right, and that should be perfect. So go ahead and exit out of that screen and to check whether or not um, you did it correctly, you can click new mail over here and yep, it pops up right there just the way you like it and you can create your email. But if you don't want this on here, you can easily highlight it and just delete it. Okay, now the next step is to create 
a automatic reply. So we want to go back up to our settings, the mail tab, and now we're going to go all the way down to automatic replies. And then turn on this switch to turn on the automatic replies and select this button. So now let's say we're going on a trip and we're going to leave on the 22nd at 3 p.m. and we're going to come back on the 30th. And you can change the time, whatever time you think you'll be back, I guess. <laughs> Um, and then check any of these boxes if you'd like. Uh, let's say I want to block it on my calendar. Um, and let's say we're going to Barbados. We're going to go visit Rihanna's home country. So Barbados vacay. And then you can go ahead and type anything you'd like. Um, make it professional. Say... Uh, you won't be in office during this time and that you'll get back to them as soon as you can and then go ahead and click the save button and if anybody emails you during the time between the 22nd and the 30th they'll get that automatic email from you future you are here again i just wanted to add a little note to the automatic replies section so when you create your email, you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down and select this box right here. And what that does is send a separate email to those that aren't in your organization so that they know you're out of office as well. Thank you guys for tuning in and be sure to check out our social media pages. We are Kirkham Iron Tech on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And I'll catch you guys later.